Peter, many congratulations. Off and running here at the Masters. The first two sessions, irresistible. Eased off a little bit towards the end, but job done. I didn't ease off, I just didn't feel well. Uh, going up there, I'm not surprised I got that much of a lead. It's only because Triz, uh, Trizzy. Trizzy? Trizzy. Trizzy Rascal. <laughs> uh, he wasn't he wasn't near the trebles like he was yesterday so uh, uh, I, you know the first two sessions I got away with it feeling well still averaging the best part of 108 that, that's good signs obviously not that you weren't very well but performing when you're not at your best feeling your best yeah um, I've done hardly any practice with these darts as well at home since I've come back from uh, last week and uh, because I'm happy with them. Uh, so the most practice of this was tonight when I got here. It's one of the worries for the seeds in this second round that the guys that played last night may have a slight advantage being used to conditions and the stage? Yeah, but we get it. We get it at the Europeans and stuff like that. So, you know, you've just got used to it. You've, got, you've earned yourself into that position. So you should be, you know, capable of, you know, producing good darts. And, if you don't, it's your own fault. After years of doing your walk on and dance, you almost almost stacked it this evening for the first time. I know. <laughs> I see the trainers are too grippy and they grip the carpet. <laughs> and obviously I'm getting heavier and uh, older. I can't lift, levitate over, over the floor anymore. How important is the Masters as a tournament for you guys that are in the Premier League to get yourself ready for that gruelling schedule of, of week in, week out? And winning here can set you up for a good run in the Premier League, early doors, getting points on the board. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I used to turn up the Masters and go, oh, you know, it's after Christmas and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, the year I won it, uh, I went, I'm going to win this. And I had that feeling and I went and went and won it. Uh, but, you know, I, I've got the same feeling. As, but if I feel like this tomorrow, then it's going to be hard work. Yeah, many congratulations. Thanks very much, Jim. Thank Peter, how much confidence did that win in Copenhagen give you last week? How much belief again? Yeah, yeah it's obviously I've got some good scouts beating uh, you know, some of the best players in the world there is at the moment. And, uh, you know, I'll just show them I can still play and, uh, and, and change darts and still win the tournament. <laughs> Big year ahead for yourself. What targets have you set to achieve this year? Uh, I've been asked that one before. Try and stay in the top ten of the world, retain my title at the match play and the worlds if possible. Can you say top ten there? The site's not slightly higher than that. Well, I'm defending eight hundred thousand. When you when you take that off my rankings, uh, I drop down a little bit. So uh, you know, try and you know, even want the match play in the worlds again. I don't move. <laughs> so, you know, it's a lot of money, so, yeah. There are a few people that maybe wrote you off after the Worlds and after some indifferent form towards the end of the year. Do you, after performance like that, and if you can go further in this tournament? Well, last year was terrible. It's uh, to scrap that. Let's get on with this year, and uh, I've started the year off really well. I'm happy with a set of darts for once, and... Uh, I've actually put all my other darts away. So. Are they locked in the cupboard? We're not going to see them again? You're going to see a new version of what I've got. That's what you're going to see. So.